called triple popple. I think we were calling it double popple earlier because I had one popple here, one popple here. And actually, I don't even think they're popple. I think they're cottonwood. But popple's easier. But we have a third coming off the stem here, so triple.
Meh. Meh.
8.24 So I just stood up Just stood up Contemplating what time I gotta get down I said to myself I'm probably not gonna see any fucking deer again I literally just said that I look out there and I saw the doe So it's on the neighbor's beans here and then uh, I saw another little buck back there. And then I got my binoculars up and I caught antler there, so. Oh boy, I think I put a good shot on him. But I got a pretty good angle, or a pretty good visual of where he went. I might have trouble finding blood here. And then we're going to call it for rain, so. Oh man.
it's uh, about 9.13. Here's the situation. <laughs> I just been in the tree trying to calm down a little bit, gather my thoughts. I'm still not quite thinking straight, but um, talked to Kelly, talked to my dad, sent text to Pete, Trent, Shane, guys. Um, I'm out here by myself. What I got is my e-bike, so I'm going to get down here and I'm going to go check the scene see if I can uh, see any evidence of where we're going here the video looks pretty good the video looks real good actually uh, all indications are that it's a it's a good shot so I'm going to uh, pack up my stuff and uh, get down on the ground at least and go from there slowly uh, Pete is jumping in his truck he's on his way from St. Charles but uh, it's uh, 45 minutes 50 minutes out so we'll see what uh, I told him to report back when I found something or what not but uh, yeah Hopefully at the end of this uh, scenario this morning, uh, we got some good evidence and uh, we're able to recover a nice buck. So that's what I'm going to do is get get packed up. I think I got the shot. I got the shot. I got the shot. Everything on video pretty good, I think. So um, we want to. Uh, I did want to take a couple pictures though of where he thought he went. I think he went between those two trees for sure. Just recapping a bit right quick. Um, I happened to look out behind me in the beans here and uh, saw a doe for sure and uh, got glass in a little bit and I saw a small buck out there behind her and so I started glassing and I picked up that big buck and I said oh that's a shooter you know I was like okay and the doe ended up they ended up working in this inside corner a little bit and she jumped in the brush right there you see on the video and he kind of followed and I had ranged a couple of spots where they might um, come through and if they came through I had holes and I ranged the one hole to be 25 and where I ended up shooting that buck I didn't range because that's well within the 25 so I'm thinking he was somewhere in a 17 18 20 yard range um, but he followed her just on the inside there wasn't dogging her or nothing they're just kind of feeding together I guess um, and so he kind of paralleled inside of her which brought him closer to the stand and he didn't even know I was here and uh, like I say I grunted to stop him I thought he was going to get through Matt. I Matt. was able to swing my camera around um, what I did was uh, so this camera arm is coming off the tree this way but in order to get over there I swung it through and got on the other side here like this and then uh, yeah, we were able to make the shot right here and he took off up in there so that's where we're at right now uh, again still a little discombobulated here but um, getting going so we'll uh, get down on the ground and uh, try to keep the camera going as much as I can um, but you know we got some work to do and it's uh, delicate work here so let's go get them okay so the shot occurred right here
by this uh, brush and I'm within 10 yards here I got good blood somewhere I do right there there's some and then uh, I can see it splattered up in here and I see my arrows right there so I document the best I can here but uh, so I got blood on this yellow and then my arrow is right there so it looks to me like maybe we did get a bit of a pass through here so we got blood here that blood here that blood here on this twig and so it's uh, 24 36 inches wide here and that's busted off right at the knock so I'm hoping that's a good sign here
lot to go. Well, Pete's here. I, uh, not sure what I'm gonna do. I, uh, I think I'm just gonna leave him here and hit that trail and head out and go pick up Pete. Maybe wait for Kelly. Get on the golf cart. I can get right to him. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, sweet. Well, I was going to actually bring the cart out the next trip. <laughs> now you don't need it. I really wasn't planning on killing one. I was thinking I'd kill one maybe in November. But there he is. So it turns out I did have a picture of this deer on the 22nd of September. Um, we named him Andre the Giant and uh, it's, uh, it's not like I was going in specifically after this buck. The time of the year was right, the wind was right and I was hunting between some food and thick bedding cover in the morning so you know when preparation meets opportunity that's what lucky is and, and I just got lucky. This buck here he's going to go about 184 pounds on the scale dressed out. 18 and a half inch side spread, 11 inch G2s, 10 inch G3s. Price score out around somewhere around 145 inches or so. I included my gear list, not because uh, pro I'm proud of what I got, but I have a mix of old and new. So if you got old stuff that works and it's in good condition, use it. If you got new stuff you wanna spend the money, go ahead and do it. Uh, gear is not gonna make you a better hunter. What makes you a good hunter is hunting good property in good spots. So we had a lot of fun with this deer so far. Um, I'm a big believer that we made a big leap on this property. And what I always like to say is just follow your dreams. Be willing to work for it and anything's possible. You know, we're taking a big swing at this and this is one of the reasons we're doing it. It's a beautiful buck on a beautiful piece of property and it's going to be the next chapter of our lives so uh the time is now let's go out there let's go get them